ask you this question. Does it mean that every time you eat a meal, you have to go to the toilet straight away and wait for the shit to come out? Of course not, because yeah, the shit could come out now, but you could be sitting in the toilet for three days and no shit, right? And all that time, you're wasting your time in the toilet when you could be out there doing productive things and making things happen. So the same thing in the stock market. Even if we do get an inversion, it doesn't mean that one should sell straight away because again, the actual top could come months or years later and staying out of the market, you miss out on a lot more gains. So this balloon represents the stock market and this piggy bank represents the economy. So remember, the stock market is not tied to the current economy. The stock market prices in the future and not the present economic situation. So the stock market can go up even though the economy goes down. Dory was this fish uh, that had a short-term memory. And she'll just go on, keep on swimming, keep on swimming, keep on swimming, right? So I find that to be a good trader, you have to be a bit like that fish. When you get, you know, some wins or losses, it doesn't affect your psychology of taking the next trade. You just keep on swimming, keep on swimming, keep on trading, all right? You have no memory of the past. Isn't investing risky? And the answer is, if you don't know what you're doing, everything is risky, including getting married. Let me ask you a question. If you did not know how to drive a car and you started driving a car, is that risky? Of course, you're gonna get into an accident and get hurt. But what if you learn how to drive a car and you follow all the traffic signals, all the traffic rules, you drive defensively, you've got your protection like your seatbelt and your airbags, then driving's very safe. Now the same thing goes for investing. People who invest in a stock market without learning how to invest are like driving without a license. They are guaranteed to get into an accident and get hurt financially. But if you learn exactly how to invest the right way with the right protection, investing is extremely safe, just like driving a car every single day. So if you want to build a balanced investment portfolio, you gotta have the different types of stocks. It's kind of like if you want to be healthy, you got to have a balanced meal. You got to have a good combination of proteins, carbohydrates, vitamins, and fiber. For example, is protein good? Yes, protein grows your muscles. But too much protein, too much meat, for example, is bad for you. The same thing in your investment portfolio. If you've got too much growth stocks, yes, it can grow your portfolio, but it becomes very volatile because these stocks can drop a lot during a recession. So you want to balance that protein with vegetables. You need some fiber. Just like your portfolio, you need to have some predictable defensive stocks that do well during a recession. In a balanced meal, you also need to have some carbohydrates to give you energy. Just like you need some dividend stocks to pay cash flow to you. Now, at the same time, you want to have some speculative stocks to grow your portfolio. But too much speculative stocks can be really risky. That's kind of like the hot sauce in a meal. A bit of hot sauce spice up the meal, but too much hot sauce and it can spoil the whole meal. Remember that prices move in wave patterns, breathing patterns, right? So it doesn't go up in a straight line, right? It goes up, breathe out. It can't breathe out forever. It has to breathe in and then breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in. All right, so market prices are made up of impulsive. We call this the impulsive wave and corrective wave. Okay, so if you take a look at these wave patterns, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Okay, so you can see right now we are here. We are at breathing out towards the end. Now, it's very hard to tell exactly where's the top, right? But you know that eventually it can't breathe out forever. It will eventually have to come back down again to one of the moving averages, maybe the 150 moving average or 200 moving average. And once it comes back down, that's when I'll start adding more shares. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The bottom line is that if you're invested in the index ETF or you're invested in fundamentally good companies that are profitable, you have zero worries because the index and good companies will always go up, 
over time. But in the short term, there are always concerns, there are always worries, there are always problems. The important thing is to stay invested. Remember, the stock market is like a roller coaster. The only people who get hurt are those that jump off the ride halfway. And of course, those that get on roller coasters that are not well maintained, they fly off the ride, right? So these are the lousy stocks of lousy companies that are unprofitable. But again, if you invest in great companies, a solid roller coaster, it will always reach the end to the highest peak. But you just got to enjoy the ups and downs of the process. 90% of people who trade stocks will lose money, just like the players who go to a casino. And the reason most people will lose money is because they don't have a plan. They don't have a strategy, right? They buy based on rumors, based on emotions, based on opinions, based on tips, right? So to most people, when they, when they buy a stock, what's the chance of them being right? 50-50, right? It's random. It either goes up or it goes down. Now you may say, Adam, it's, if it's 50-50, it's not that bad. Well, actually, it's worse than that. Why? Remember that when you go to a casino, you bet a dollar. If you lose, you lose a dollar. If you win, you win a dollar, right? So you're risking one to make one, correct? But for most people, when they go into the stock markets, the trouble is because of their emotions, they lose more when they're wrong and they make less when they're right. So long-term investing or investing is kind of like getting married. When you get married, you, you don't need to use any kind of protection, right? When you get married, you are loyal to the person, you're loyal to the company. So even in the short term, if that person goes nuts, they go through mood swings, you hold on to that person because you know that person has got good fundamentals, person has good character. Over time, the relationship will flourish. Make sense? But in short-term trading, it's kind of like going for a one-night stand. So in a one-night stand, you don't care about the person's fundamentals or the person's values. You're just going in because the price is going up, right? Getting out when the price is going down. So in short-term trading, like a one-night stand, you've got to use protection. You've got to protect yourself and you've got no loyalty. You're in and out really fast. And you can see right now, it's at the top. I won't jump in right now. But look at the wave patterns, right? Wave up, wave down, wave up, wave down, wave up. So never buy on a wave up. Again, never chase the girl or chase the boy, right? Always wait for the girl or the boy to run into your arms. You catch them and then you live happily ever after. As you